Okay. So uh, I am Fatima Khaled. I study computer engineering. I uh, am in the senior year. I will be graduating uh, by July. I have interned for OpenStack uh, in, in, uh, throughout Ricci last summer from, uh, from May to August. And then uh, I, I worked on storyboard project and Hi, I'm Gitika and I work for Red Hat and uh, I started my career in open source with OpenStack back in 2015 uh, and I was also an outreach intern and today we all would be talking, we both would be talking about open source and diversity and how is it affecting and our journey in OpenStack so far. Yeah. So uh, diversity is mainly adding a variety of our of variables to uh, our equation. So how it works in workforces, it works in the way that we need to add people from different backgrounds to our workforce and our teams. And this is mainly happening in open source and corporates. And there is, why is that really important with the open source, uh, with the software products? Because software products are mainly used by people from international, internationally. So we need, it, we need it to be adaptable and be supported for people from different backgrounds. That's why including people from different backgrounds working on these pro products makes them having various solutions that fits these pe people from different backgrounds as users as well. So having people from different backgrounds doesn't only help these underrepresented groups, it also helps the products themselves being more adaptable and more user-friendly. So, uh, what, that's what came when Outreach is working on. Outreach is mainly working on having more people involved and from different backgrounds. It started all with 2006 by Genome, they wanted more women included in the tech uh, in the tech field, and then it is going, it is developing right now. It is including more underrepresented groups. So, how did I come to outreach to reach outreachy? Uh, I was I was willing to make contributions in open source mainly uh, because I have realized throughout my studies that. Open source is really important for our community. So how can we, I, I was willing to work it out and try to contribute and make a more good for the community itself. Uh, and then that's where I found open, uh, that's when I found Outreachy. And in Outreachy website, I found OpenStack. And in OpenStack, I have applied for a uh, storyboard to work with, and there was my mentor, Kendall, uh, Kendall Nelson, Diablo Rojo, if she's not here. Uh, she was my mentor. She helped me throughout the whole process. When I started with from the IRC, people were there, uh, the IRC chat, people were very friendly there and helpful. And then and she was with me in the whole internship as a mentor, she was uh, she was always available for the check-ins and was when I had obstacles that stopped me. Actually, it was the first interfacing of me with the such a big scale uh, code base that is contributed by so many people. So it was a very unique experience that I have had uh, and it all started with this. And then I, after the internship was done, I have gone on, gone with the contributions further, further and further until the PTG in Denver, the last one. I have attended this one, and I have met, I have known uh, more about the projects of OpenStack, and then I found out about Swift, and then I went contributing on that one too. Uh, mainly, this all came from Outreachy that get me to do this and got me today here in front of you in, in the summit, my first summit, and talking, giving this talk. Uh, so including people uh, from different backgrounds gives people, gives them opportunity and a push to shine and rise more with their talents. So that's Outreachy, what did for me. And then we'll go with Ketka, her experience. 
Yeah, so I started my, uh, so I come from an electronics background and I've always wanted to learn about how the entire programming works. So I found out, I researched a lot and then I found out various programs. One of them was Learn ID Girl, which was started in 2014 by certain uh, scholarship recipients of uh, Anita Borg, Google Anita Borg uh, institution. So. They, what they did was, the idea there was to propose a project and then you, they'll find you a mentor, they'll match you with a mentor and then, then that would give you an opportunity to learn and under a mentorship of somebody who already knows how this stuff works. It gave me an opportunity to learn and to at least work globally with someone beyond coming out of my like uh, comfort zone and then how to interact with people and how to find out on various solutions for the problems which I have been facing to finish off a project and ultimately working on a real time project. And then after the after that three month internship, I thought I should advance myself and I started working in open source and I found out programs like Outreachy and Google Summer of Code and and eventually I came to my came to my mind that I should I should apply for these uh, these programs and and I and I came across OpenStack and since the community is so welcoming, they helped me resolve so many bugs and. And then I found out a project called as Glance and the mentor uh, who is at that time who was like Nikhil Kamavar and and he helped me a lot to find out to uh, to work on a project which was like which could which I could understand basically he helped me find out a way from how to understand the basics and fundamentals of OpenStack and how to contribute the in the entire internship was a very, le very good learning experience for me. So, and there are so many things that this this entire program provides you. For example, it provides you a cool stipend, of course, and then it provides you an opportunity to travel. So, I am standing in front of you, talking to you in front uh, at this summit because of because I got an opportunity from Outreachy. So these all these programs are very very important uh, for uh, for people maybe in in an underrepresented group. So who need who maybe need a little bit push of a confidence maybe or maybe a little bit of uh, more encouragement so that uh, they can come and show showcase their talents. So after outreachy, it, uh, it it's not like that. In that th in that three month uh, period, internship period, you are supposed to work. That's all. But after that, I voluntarily uh, contributed for a long time, and I worked in Searchlight, and I was a core reviewer for Glare for a while, and uh, I currently try to give back the community by organizing local meetups in India itself and help newcomers come to OpenStack and uh, try, uh, try getting across the barriers of the initial starting uh, process, of initially setting up all the process. And hence I uh, find very good happiness in that at least. <laughs> And the lessons that I've learned, I've gotten so, such so much international exposure and like working on a real time development and how to communicate with so many people from various backgrounds and making them understand, making myself understand how to make, uh, how to reach out to the needs of the project and all. And eventually it opened a lot of opportunity, doors of opportunities for me. Currently, I, me being at Red Hat is the outcome of that opportunity that I grasped. So that's, uh, I think that's something everyone can make use of and if we all can, if everybody comes together and uh, gives back to community a little bit, I think uh, there are so many people uh, still there who can get a push uh, and then they can, they can give, they can showcase their talent and maybe th that's a small opportunity they are like looking for, that's all. Uh, that's all from our side. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any questions about uh, about Outreachy, they will be out there. Yes. Thank you very much.